the Adelaide Hills have not seen fires like this for more than 30 years. The hot, windy conditions have eased a little, prompting officials to lower the fire danger rating from the highest level. But it's brought little relief. The loss of trees and wildlife is extensive. When they turned up here, I could see the house was, was well alight and I just said to them, let it go, save my animals, and we did. So far, around a dozen homes have been destroyed, but authorities fear another 20 may also have been lost. Homes are being threatened. There are people in the, the path of this fire front at the moment. So it's a very serious situation. More than 800 firefighters have been brought in to tackle the blaze. Many say they've never seen anything quite as bad. We've got generations of people who have never experienced a fire of this size and ferocity or the impact, or nor have they understood what it meant for them, or the, or the fact that it could actually affect them. It's actually occurred. Um, I think we're, we're very, very lucky and very fortunate that so far uh, we haven't had a loss of life reported to us or significant injury. Officials have sometimes been accused of overstating the danger, but they'd rather be too cautious than get caught out, as in 2009, when more than 170 people were killed in Victoria's infamous Black Saturday fires, Australia's worst bushfire disaster. This latest emergency is not on that scale, but as the Adelaide Hills burn for a third night, firefighters will not be taking any chances. John Donison, BBC News, Sydney.